Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a free membership website on the Rainmaker platform. So this is where you create a members only content area and fill it full of great stuff as an incentive for people to register with you and also give you their email address at the same time. And obviously finally this gives you a great chance to build a real long-term valuable relationship with your audience by providing them some great stuff. Okay, so uh, if you see here, I've already logged into this this demo site I've got on Rainmaker. Um, I'm gonna go through each of the steps um, depending on how much you've played around with your Rainmaker site or not already. Some of this stuff might be done, um, but you can just follow along with the, the steps in the articles and um, and We'll go from there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do after logging in is go ahead and create some what I call key pages. Uh, these are the kind of minimum pages you need for the site. Even you're going to need a checkout page, even though we're not taking a payment. It's still a checkout page, a login page so people can log in, of course, uh, a member page, which is basically like a profile page for for logged in members. They can change passwords and things like that I think and then a thank you page which is a page people see after registering so if we after clicking content we're going pages view all you'll see all the existing pages now as I mentioned on your site you might have some of this already if you've been playing around with it um, you can see here I, I already have some but I'm just gonna show you how you would add a new page so click add new um, you go ahead and add just the title. Now you can put additional content on any of these pages, which will go along with whatever forms, etc., appear. If you're not sure what you want to say now, then you can come back and uh, add that later. So it's not a big deal at this stage. Go ahead and hit publish. I won't publish because I've already got my checkout page created. Obviously, go back, repeat the same step for so you've got each of the pages: a checkout page, login page, member page, and a thank you page. Now, uh, what we're going to do is tell Rainmaker um, to associate the membership with these certain pages. So if we go ahead and click conversion on the left, and you'll see here um, you've got this conversion status area. If you don't have this open automatically, you can expand it. Now here, um, you can see straight away membership pages, checkout page, login page, maybe member page are not selected, so we're going to go and fix that. And you see here, um, you present it with a drop down, just simply associated with the appropriate page. I've called my member page profile page. Um, scroll down, hit save. Okay, so now Rainmaker knows which page to use for checkout, login, etc. Next up, one of the reasons we're doing this is to, to hopefully drive uh, email subscriptions. So we want to go ahead and connect with your the email provider of your choice. Um, I'm going to use Mailchimp, like a lot of people. The steps are, are like pretty similar. Um, you can also use the Aweber, or Infusionsoft, and probably more options will be coming along in Rainmaker soon. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and set my Mailchimp account. It's going to, you know, ask me for authorization. Um, um, I've got several Mailchimp accounts. Okay, so I've authorized that. So now, uh, on my behalf, Rainmaker can basically do stuff in my Mailchimp account, like add subscribers and useful things like that. Okay, to create a membership level, um, you would click. Um, conversion again on the left. Now a membership level is um, kind of like how it sounds. You can actually create multiple membership levels. So uh, by creating a membership level you will say all the people in this group get access to this stuff. And if you're running a big site or you want to run lots of different membership programs you can obviously create multiple levels and associate different products and content with that level. So. Right now, uh, we've got conversion, we've got this member groups area. So here's our member groups or member levels. You can see I've got a couple in here already. Beginner, where I was playing around with it before free. Um, depending on your setup, you might even have this level already. If you're not using it for anything, 
you can go ahead and just use one of these existing levels for what we're going to do now or you can create a completely new one so you could have um, put something really exciting like test and just add that so here's you can just review my current membership levels um, now that part is done we're going to create a product so again uh, conversion and uh, we can I always prefer to, we can create straight away, but I prefer to view all to see what's already in there. Um, so this product will be the thing which people purchase, or in this case, get for free. And by getting that product, they will get access to that membership level. And by getting access to that membership level, they get access to all the content. So here's our, here's our product. I've got one in there already. You might also have this as well, depending on... You know, if you've been playing around with your Rainmaker site and some of the setup wizards that come with it. Um, if you're not using this product for anything else already, then you can go ahead and just edit this or you can just create a new one. The steps are almost the same. I'm going to edit this existing one. Um, here you can see pretty basic stuff. Give it a, a title that's going to make sense to your audience. Give it optional product description. Here you can see the purchase link, uh, which we're going to use later. So you can go and copy and paste it somewhere now or we can grab it later. Uh, thank you page. We associate this with the page we created earlier. Um, product type should be product. And in this case, we want to say this is a free product. Uh, and then, obviously, very important, which member group or groups uh, does the uh, user get access to upon buying or registering for this product. So I'm using this, this free level. Um, when you're done... Um, oh, also just to add, you can add a add an email receipt as well if you want. Um, you can see you obviously can customize all of this, and you can use these these short codes to you know you know dear Nick, thank you for signing up for X, and it, all the available short codes are here. Um, when you're done, hit save. Um, on that part, then f just to just to highlight as well. Very important. Um, before you leave this page, uh, if you're trying to drive email subscriptions, which I think you pretty much always want to be doing, you need to set up Mailchimp or Aweb or whatever you've done. So uh, in here, you'll have a Mailchimp list. This is automatically associated with your account. So just pick. You can create a. So I'm going to use this one. Uh, double opt in. Use default setting. Um, up to you if you want to do double opt in or not. Um, now here, Mailchimp list merge fields. Um, this this basically says um, syncs the data that you're collecting from Rainmaker and pushes it in the right place in in Mailchimp. So in Mailchimp, um, each field has a unique name, um, and you can access those by actually logging into to Mailchimp and digging around and I actually include an instruction how to do that but for 99% plus of people you won't there'll be the standard default names which are email f name and l name okay so again go up um, hit save okay so we've got this membership level we've got a product set up we need to actually create some content to hide behind the the registration, or there's not much point at the moment, and people are probably not going to be super happy. They registered for nothing, so go ahead and go back to content. Um, or you, you know, you could also go add new page here, whatever. Um, so I can just go ahead and create a new page. Um, you know, so you could. There's lots of ways you could structure this. You could have a page which is like the welcome page, which explains to everyone. You know, here's all the stuff. In the in the membership site, and here are links to it. Um, you can also obviously create downloads uh, only for for members as well. Um, I'm just going to go and create uh, a dummy page here for now. Um, yeah, I'm sure you can figure out this part, but the key part I really want to um, highlight to you if you scroll down. Uh, is this membership group so this is where if you want to restrict this page to only people who brought your, your new product um, you need to restrict them to the the member group 
So begin a free test. If you remember, we used free. In your case, you'll probably only have one anyway if you're just starting. So I'm going to restrict it to free. So only people in the free member group who are logged in will be able to see this page. And people that aren't will get some you need to log in message. I'll just go ahead and publish this page. Now we'll see you can you can go ahead and create as many of these pages as you want. So now we're going to go ahead and add a member only download. Um, if you're not already in conversion section, click that, and then if you scroll down, you will see um, a downloads ma manager. And if you click uh, view all, you can see uh, here's an existing one from where I was playing around before, but we're going to go and create a new one. Um, so give it a name. So member only hacking chopper. No. Download um, and then we need to obviously upload this file. It's a it's a PDF I made earlier. Uh, obviously, we don't um, want this to be publicly accessible. What we do want is to associate it with a member group, which is our free group we're using with our product. Um, you can all, there's an option to track number of downloads if you want, delay access, things like that. But you know. We're, we're keeping this a simple example. You can go back and add those things in later. So we go ahead and hit save. And upload it for us. You can see here it's generated this, this link. Um, we don't really need this at this moment unless you are going to email it to someone or something like that. Um, what I will do though is show you how to add it to the page we just created before. So if we go back to the content, view all pages, and I think I called it test member page, I did. And now we can, you know, we can add a list of downloads. You, you, know, you now have access to, and this is the insert download. Uh, it's just, start typing the name so I can remember something member only and you can give it some optional link text go ahead and insert it and again update it so now only logged in members will be able to get access to this page and therefore view this but even if they had the direct link to this PDF they would still be asked to log in and they're restricted from it so um, you can see that the content is is protected and now we're going to create a landing page um, just to create a jazzed up way for people to sign up and discover more about the content. Obviously you could use any page you want, but it's quite a cool feature that Rainmaker has. So let's check it out. So um, before we do that, we're just going to go back and grab the link to our product. If you remember, we created a product which on signing up for people get access to the member level. So um, if we go products view all, here's our free content library and you can see our, our purchase link which is what we want is here. Go ahead and copy that. Now if we go from the top and go add new landing page. Um, so template builder or pre-built template. I'm just going to use a pre-built template and this one's pretty simple. Obviously you can come back and change this later, but if you just want to launch, this is how you'll do it. So it's a landing page for video and you can see that it's come, this landing page has, has come with some pre-built sections. I've deliberately chosen a very simple one. So, you know, sign up now for Uh, the key part though is this message call to action and the reason why we, we copied this purchase link. Um, button URL is where we're going to paste this in. So I just pasted that in with my keyboard. Um, uh, this will obviously be the button text, get access. You can add additional content there, done. Um, 
And now uh, we we'll just go ahead and publish that. And you can see it's created so and it's generated this this URL. We could obviously edit this if we want, but I'm gonna be happy with that. Or oh, there's also opportunity to generate a short link. Um, just go ahead and view it. It's pretty basic because I didn't put much content in. Um, but the, the point here is two things. One here's so here's your URL if you just want to send out to like an email list first or put it on social media first, this is what you would copy and paste. Um, if you want to show you actually what happens with someone clicks register now. So it will go to the checkout with this free content library in our basket. Now it already knows who I am because I'm logged in. But um, if I was logged out, I won't, I won't show you that, but it would obviously ask for all these details. And instead of add access, it would, you know, it would, it would be a registration process instead. Um, so now we've got our landing page, our product, our member level, and our restricted content. And the next thing we need to do is really open the doors for, for people to, to find this. So now we're going to add these uh, links and some bit of promotional stuff for the, for the uh, membership site on the front end. Um, if you're not already, I suggest going to the design section where we're going to do most of this stuff. Um, here's the front end of the uh, demo site we're using you can see it's just dummy content and stuff at the moment but you'll notice I've got a main menu some kind of content areas here and this footer I'm just going to add uh, some links to this and obviously you know you can adapt to your own needs or, or, or what you want to do so first thing I'm going to do is edit the menus so I'm in design go to menus and edit and here you have a drop down of all the current menus on the site. Uh, these brackets show that it's using a particular area of the site. So primary menu, which I'm already on, you can see about home, about blog, etc. Corresponds to this. Um, there's a footer menu and stuff as well, but we're going to stick with this for now. So um, it's obviously up to you uh, what you want to add. Um, I'm going to keep it really simple and just add a login link here. So on the left is on my on my pages. Um, there's also other stuff I could link to as well, but we're just concerning ourselves with pages on the right of the existing pages on the menu, of course. So I'm going to find a login. So add that to the menu. I'm going to hit save. If I refresh the front end, because I'm logged in, it's going to say log out. But obviously, if I was logged out of the site already, it would say, say logged in. So now, once people sign up for the course, they've got a way to actually log in and, and access the content. Now another thing we might want to do is create a, a menu for all the content in the course. We've only got one page at the moment of course, but we can still go ahead and make a menu. So uh, for this we probably want to create a completely new menu. So click create a menu and uh, call this maybe mem member menu, hit create. Okay, so now we want to add the uh, page we did before, test member page, add some menu. So this is one of my restricted content pages. You can force it to a particular location, but actually I, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to save it. I'm going to show you how you can add the menu somewhere else in one of these these content areas you see here and also in the footer. So to edit those, go to design again, and you'll see content areas. Now, each of these content areas corresponds to a particular part of uh, the page or, or the site in general. So the foot is obviously on every page. Um, some of this stuff's only on the home page. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, it's just dummy content anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a menu, say, in a footer, for example. So um, at the moment, I've got this, this text, text widget, which is not doing anything anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and. Um, delete that. Now I want to add a, a menu, a custom menu, so I'm going to drag and drop that here and I can choose member menu from here. So this will list all the pages, I've only put one, but it will list all the pages in that menu. 
Um, of course, member content, just give it a title so it's not just a menu floating around on its own. If I refresh, you will see here. So, obviously, I can have, add more pages. Now, I want to um, provide a link maybe to the landing page as well to, to explain more uh, about what I'm doing. Um, again, you've got a a few different options here. Um, before header, you can see this this floating call to action. So you might just want to might be enough for you to have it there. What you need to do again is we need our our link to um, to either the landing page or to the to the to the product. So probably the landing page um, here, so we can actually explain to people. So if you don't have the, the landing page link to hand, you can just go back in content and find it. So uh, here's our landing page is the landing page of video. Hit view in a new new tab. Just go ahead and grab that. Let's go back to design. And it was before header, I think. You just go and copy paste the whole thing in there. Obviously, give it some uh, some custom text here. Change change the link. Just be careful if you're not so familiar with HTML, just to not just delete part of this that I just did. You can just you can see. For a link, if you're not familiar with HTML, this is a link, so you can just replace what it was linked to before uh, with the full thing here. So href equals, and then this. Yeah. Let's save. Go back to the front end. I can see that now. I link to my landing page. People can register. After they register, they can log in. We've got kind of the full the full loop going on here now. Uh, I could also I've got these other areas as well. So if I you know maybe want a more conventional area on the page and not just that top part, it would depend on the theme that you're using. Um, you can see you've got some front page widgets here. So we've got our thoughts. So we could add I could replace this slash blog between the quote marks with our thing there. So it could be I could add it in here. save and I'm sure you get the idea by now. I've given people access to, to the landing page again. Okay, so that is 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 the whole process really. That is how you would create a, you know the the key pages you need in the first place for Rainmaker to actually enable the, the membership functionality. So log in, check out that member profile page and also thank you page. We've created membership levels. Uh, we created a product which gives people access to that, and we've created content behind that. Um, finally, we've we've set up things to, to actually promote and um, let people access the content, and and that's it. You know, it's 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 your it's your membership site. You're free to to put some awesome stuff in it. A great example of uh, a free membership site is uh, copy blogger. The people behind. Um, Rainmaker. I've got their own membership site called My Copy Blogger. Inside there is a, a ton of great, great, great content um, based on their years and years' experience of selling stuff and marketing. Um, it's a member resources, ebooks, seminars. You know, this is this is the free level. They also have a paid level as well. But just in the free level, there's a ton of cool stuff. Obviously. Anything you see here, you could create on, on Rainmaker and and create the same value and the same relationship with the audience that, that Copyblogger has.